Hi, I'm Mandeep Singh, founder of Mandeeps.com, and in this video, we'll be exploring our Live Visualizer module. Live Visualizer is the ultimate module to add, update, delete, and display content on your DNN or Evoke site. Basically, it is the structured content editing or an app builder for DNN platform. So let's get started. What I have here is a default installation of DNN9 on which I've already installed Live Visualizer. And I've created a page and added an instance of the module to the page right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click manage. And here's our backend of Live Visualizer. So what we're going to do today is create a FAQ module, uh, a frequently asked questions module that's uh, that's widely used across many sites. Uh, let's see how we can create one with Live Visualizer. So one of the first things we're going to do is actually create the structure also known as the content type uh, uh, in some of the other solutions. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna hit new content structure. I'm just gonna call it, this is gonna be FAQs. And the very first thing we're presented with is permissions. Now, permissions are very important in Live Visualizer. It, it's, uh, permissions are enforced at content level. Uh, so it's the very first things we can, you see. Um, right now, by default, administrators can do everything and then all users get to view the content, which is perfectly fine, so I don't need to do anything else. You can definitely click add permission and add another role and set it up. And if you were creating like a classifies or like an EB or something, then you can go ahead and say, you know, only let the owners update and delete. But this is fine for us. I'm going to hit next. And this is where we get to actually design our uh, content. And we do that using built-in live forms. So super easy to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and drag a text box here. Let's call this, this is gonna be the question. And uh, let's get a text area. And this is going to be our answer. Um, now both the question and the answer is required. So let's go ahead and do that. And for the answer, I can say, you know, I want a little bit more, that's probably too much. Let's do that. A little bit more room there um, to type. And that said, I mean, this is based on live forms, so you have full functionality of live forms. You can create multi-page, multi-column, multi you know, drag and drop and sort however you want to, to kind of design your form. But that's for a different video. This is a quick start video, so I'm going to go ahead and get going here. This is done. I'm just going to say uh, title field should be the question and the description field would be the answer. And we'll see that in a second. Basically, now I can head over to content library and start adding FAQs. So for example, the first one with is what is live visualizer? Uh, let's just say it's pure magic. All right, and I'm gonna add that in. Now what's gonna happen when I added that in is you see uh, that question right here and you see the answer down there. And this is what I was setting as my title and description field. So I get to decide what I exactly wanna see here in terms of the data. Now I can go ahead and repeat this for as many questions as I, as I When do I get it? It's ready for release now. And we'll go ahead and submit it. So there's our second question that's there. All right, so we've already covered two things. We've created a structure, super easy. You know, it's just a few clicks and we've created our structure. We've seen how to add content through a, cent, uh, through a content library. And as you can see, there's a bunch of filters on the top. There is gonna be detailed videos to cover all that. I'm gonna do this super quickly. Now let's just go ahead and create a visualizer to actually show this content on a page. So for that, I'm gonna head up to visualizer tabs, create a new visualizer, and I'm gonna call this, uh, here's my FAQs, and you can give this any name I want, or um, um, let's just call this frequently asked questions. And what we wanna do is choose a structure and we're gonna choose the FAQs we created. You can give it a description, I'm just gonna leave it as it is for now. And it is super easy to go ahead and create these auto-generate templates. I'm gonna say, give me a table view, hit okay. And that's it, I don't have to do a thing more. Hit update. And now when I go back, I see there's, there's my visualizer. I also see it's active, which means it's being displayed out in the module. So let's go ahead and take a look. And there it is. There's my first question. There's the answer. There's a second question, and there's the answer. Now there is in place or in context editing built in, so I can very easily go ahead, click there and update it. Uh, and, and this is all Ajax, so there's no page refresh going on here. Or I can even add one from here. So um, what magic tricks can it do? Well, the posse 
abilities are unlimited. Let's just say that. Okay, so there I just added that, and there you see the, the content added here. Let me go back in to our library, and I see my content there as well. So you can do in-context editing or through a central library, whatever you like. It's all there. Uh, this is it for this simple short video, but visualizers are super, super powerful. They have filtering based in, so you could decide what kind of content you want to show in the back in, in your front end, whether you want to show just few uh, selected content or you want to limit content to like last 10 records based on certain sort values, filtered by certain authors, by their workflow statuses within certain dates, uh, or even the custom property builders based on your own uh, properties of your structure. That's it for this video. Thank you so much. There is a multi-part uh, video series on live visualizer that you can watch to get familiarized with each uh, functionality of this awesome module. If you have any questions, let us know through our support and we'll be happy to assist. Thank you so much for watching this video.